Welcome to the third installment of the 2021 Oscar Cocktail Collection Special. In part three, we'll review and reveal the cocktails for the next two Best Picture Oscar-nominated films, Trial of the Chicago 7 and Judas and the Black Messiah. Both films take place in Chicago in the late 1960s and center around civil rights leaders. But what two cocktails could I possibly have imagined for these two poignant films? Well, stay tuned to find out. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Welcome to the line. To the 12th annual. Yes, thank you. Welcome to the 12th annual oh, line. Oscar cocktail collection. Right. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, and welcome to the 12th annual Oscar cocktail collection. Line. I am your host. I am your host. Yes. Thank you and welcome to the 12th annual Oscar Cocktail Collection. I am your host, Mark Addison. Oh, okay, fine, forget it, moving on. The fifth cocktail in the Oscar Cocktail Collection is the seven and seven. It's inspired by the film Trial of the Chicago Seven, which centers around the Chicago Seven, a group of anti-Vietnam War activists who are on trial for conspiracy and inciting to riot during the 1968 Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Now, this Seven and Seven is inspired by the late 1960s and 1970s cocktail culture. It's a nod to the name of the film and also to the seven characters who make up the ensemble cast, but it's not the seven and seven you're thinking of. It's really a mashup between the Harvey Wallbanger and a Long Island iced tea, but with seven spirits. We have gin, vodka, rum, white whiskey, Blanco tequila, Cointreau, and Sambuca. And with a splash of OJ and a dash of seven up completes this reinvention of these two classic cocktails. And our seven and seven is gonna be served in a vintage iced tea glass. We're gonna build this cocktail directly in the glass. So I'm gonna start by filling my glass with ice all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna add a half an ounce of each of my seven spirits. So that is a half an ounce of gin, which I'm using silo gin. We have a half an ounce of vodka and it's a rye vodka from Chopin and I have a little uh, silver rum here from Bacardi. And I have Death's Door White Whiskey, Blanco Tequila from Avion, Cointreau, and a half an ounce of Sambuca. To that, we'll add three ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice. It's two. And three. We're gonna give it a nice stir just to combine everything together. And then I'm gonna top it off with about two to three ounces of 7-Up. We'll garnish my 7-and-7 seven seven with an orange wheel and a maraschino cherry on the side for that classic cocktail look. Our sixth Oscar cocktail, Betrayal, is inspired by the Best Picture Oscar-nominated film, Judas and the Black Messiah, a film about the betrayal of Fred Hampton, brilliantly played by Daniel Kaluuya, who is actually British. Fred Hampton is the chairman of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panthers in the late 1960s and is ultimately betrayed by a trusted confidant, William O'Neill, who is an FBI informant. Betrayal is a cocktail that deceives, just like many of the characters in this Oscar-nominated film. On the surface, it's juicy and punch-like in appearance, but it has a secret. It's spicy. The Jalapeno-infused tequila packs a punch and adds an unexpected heat to an otherwise blood-red citrus-forward cocktail that I serve in a classic Collins glass. 
To start, we're gonna fill our mixing glass with ice, and then we'll add our jalapeno infused tequila. I've infused my Avignon Blanco tequila with one large jalapeno pepper, which I removed the seeds and the ribs, because that's where the extra heat is stored. And then I let it sit for about 12 to 24 hours. But make sure you remove the jalapeno or else the heat will just increase. So I'm gonna add two ounces of my jalapeno infused Avignon tequila. To that, I'm gonna add one ounce of Salerno blood orange liqueur. And then I'll add a half an ounce of Moen blood orange syrup. And then an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And three quarters of an ounce of a homemade honey syrup. We'll take the contents of our mixing glass, pour it in our shaking tin, give a little tap and give it a good shake. That feels nice and chilled. And I'm gonna pour the contents of my shaking tin back into my mixing glass so I can see that beautiful blood orange color. Set that aside. And in my Collins glass, I'm gonna add two large King ice cubes. I really love the dramatic effect of these King cubes in this tall cylinder glass. Then I'm going to strain the contents of my mixing glass over my ice cubes. Look at that gorgeous color. And then garnished with a single lime wedge. And here we have Betrayal. A cocktail that looks one way and in reality tastes totally different. Here we have our next two Oscar nominated cocktails. We have Seven and Seven for The Trial of the Chicago Seven and Betrayal for Judas and the Black Messiah. Which cocktail will take Oscar home? Let me know what you think in the comment section below and check out the recipes and resources I've got in the description box down there. If you haven't seen part one and part two of the 2021 Oscar cocktail specials, you can check out this link right there and tune in to part four where I reveal and review the cocktails for the best picture Oscar nominated films, Sound of Metal and Promising Young Woman. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because if you hit that notification button, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Cheers.